welcome to Yikina with Sally Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I am bringing you a lounge fly pin video. Now these are two of the most recent mini jumbo pin releases over at Loungefly. We saw that back in May, Loungefly made an announcement and they said they were going to be releasing these special limited edition of 500 mini jumbo pins on their website. These are going to be Tuesday releases. They release at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And these pins that I'm going to show you were released earlier this month. One of the pins was released on June 2nd and the other one June 9th. And I am really excited that I finally have these. These are my very first lounge fly mini jumbo pins. And these pins are really popular. They're just as popular as the early pin releases over at Shop Disney. They have been selling out like this and I'll make sure to show you guys the flyer for the June releases but without further ado, let's see the pins that I have today. All right, so the first pin we have right here was released on June 2nd, and this is the Fox and the Hound mini jumbo pin. Again, in this limited edition of 500, and the retail price for this was only $25, and I love it because it is a box pin. So let me take it out of the box so you guys can get a better look. So this is the pin right here. We see Todd and Copper. I think the colors on this pin are very pretty. They're very vibrant and I love all the details on this pin. It is quite large and actually we have some moving parts on this pin. And Todd's little tail moves. So cute that Todd's little tail moves because Todd and Copper were always so happy to find each other and be able to play. And here we have the back of the pin. It is licensed by Disney. I love that Loungefly has its own little waffle print on the back. So we have all these little crowns which are the logo for Loungefly. And as we get a little closer, we can see that it says limited edition of 500. I love the golden color on the back. This pin has two posts on the back. And instead of having the typical Mickey head rubber backings, we have some metal backings on this pin. And as you can see, this pin is really large. It really fits inside my hand. Like it covers the palm of my hand. So really, really, really nice pin. And the next pin we have is Oliver and Company. This pin was released on June 9th and just like with the Fox and the Hand pin, this is a limited edition pin. And the retail price was $25 and just like with the other pin, this is a box pin. And I think that Loungefly is doing a really good job with these pins. It says limited edition at the bottom of the box. And this is a closer look. I love that we have Oliver with Dodger and just really the whole gang inside this taxi. And here we have the back of the pin. Limited edition of 500 licensed by Disney. The back of this pin is kind of like a gunmetal type color. This pin has three posts on the back and this little rubber part right here is actually a button because if this pin is supposed to light up, basically you hear that click, that's supposed to be the button and the word taxi right here should light up. However, my pin does not light up. I wanna say that probably when the pin was getting shipped to me, somehow it got activated and the battery just died. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to replace the battery on this pin because I would love to see this pin all lit up. And I think it's really cool that Loungefly is making these pins interactive. The Fox and the Hound pin had a movable element, which was Todd's tail. And here, the pin is supposed to light up. It's a shame that 
the battery on this pin died, but I am definitely gonna do some research to see if I can replace the battery on this pin. The next release after the Fox and the Hound was on June 16, and it was an Alice in Wonderland pin. That pin was a lenticular pin. So as you can see, these pins are interactive, which I find so, so cool. And for $25, a mini jumbo pin that is LE500, I think it's priced pretty fair. And just like with the Fox and the Hound pin, the backings are metal. We have some metal backings rather than having the rubber backings we're used to seeing with the Disney Park pins. And now you should be seeing the June 2020 Loungefly poster or flyer. So all these pins are being released weekly. So the first release for June, like I had mentioned earlier, was Fox and the Hound released on June 2nd. On June 9th, we had the Oliver and Company pin. June 16th, we had the Alice in Wonderland lenticular pin. On June 23rd, this coming Tuesday, we have a Star Wars pin. This is the Empire 40th anniversary pin. It is a movable layered enamel pin. So again, another pin that is interactive. And on June 30th, we are going to have Wally, -E, which will also have a movable element. So make sure that if you do want these pins, make sure to go on the website quick because again, these pins release at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which would be Florida time. And I would just suggest to get on the website a few minutes before the release actually happens just to improve your chances of getting these pins. And that's it you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you have been able to get any of these Loungefly pin releases. I think Loungefly is doing a great job. I don't know if I'm going to be getting any other pins anytime soon. At least I don't think I'm going to get any of the other pins coming out later this month. However, I am excited to see if we are going to get new pins before July. So as soon as the flyer comes out, I'll make sure to post it on my Instagram where I try to keep up with all the pin news. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram, I'm going to link it down below. My username is melimel0984. So again, if you want to keep up to date with some of the pin releases, make sure that you check out my Instagram. And that's it, you guys. As usual, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me. Bye!